Good morning, good morning friends. Good morning, it is Saturday morning. I think it's like 9.40, almost 10 o'clock. Um, today is um, a brunch day with me and some of my friends. So we're getting ready to, well I have to get start getting ready to, um, to do brunch. Um, with our friends once a month we host like a little girls outing which is so super cool um, so I'm excited about that I'm still so tired <sighs> I feel like I had to wake up so much earlier to get my head together because I'm just I'm just over like it's so hard being a girl because we have so much materialistic things to like do um as far as our hair, nails, eyelashes, eyebrows, clothes, shoes. We take care a lot. Men can just get up and get dressed and go and get a haircut. But women, we have to keep ourselves put together. And I think it's just a lot to maintain and keep ourselves put together. So that's the hard part. Oh, I need to cut these flat irons. I mean these hot combs are off. Um but I use water in my hair. I use Gorilla Snot. Mousse. Mousse. And I'm using a headband wig to keep it laid down. Oh, and I use um, Frizz Buster so it can stop frizzing. And then I top it off with some shine. That is a lot. So I had to wake up early just to get this wig done. Tied up. And uh, yeah, so that's what I got going on, y'all. So um, I'm about to cut the shower on. That's good. Yeah, I like my little speaker. Look at this little speaker I bought for the shower, y'all. I be in here jamming. So cut my shower on, get it to the temperature that I like. Cut my speaker on. I hook that up to my Bluetooth. Look at my phone, Momo. Okay, let's see. Is it going to come on or do charge? Okay, it's on. There it go. Your phone's not going to charge. Okay. And then I'm going to flip that up. My speaker. That's why it was probably a red. Speaker! <laughs> it's about to go down in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get this day started. So I'm about to go in the shower and I'll be right back with you. So I'm back, y'all. Do y'all get do y'all do y'all makeup before y'all get dressed or after y'all get dressed? Because I wanna know. I'm doing my makeup before I get dressed because I got time to play my makeup a little bit. It is 10:09. I think one of the girls said that we gotta get there. Or be there at 11.45. No. So I don't have much time left. But I have a little bit of time left. I think getting dressed is just quicker. Easier to just throw on your clothes. Especially when you know you're wearing. But your makeup takes the most time. So. And I don't want to spill any makeup on my thing. Which you can put on your clothes. And still get makeup on your face. I mean on your clothes. From your face. So. I don't know. But anyway. I like to sit down and play on my makeup a little bit. And do my face. I'm just gonna do a quick beat. This is how I do it. I don't do the whole baking and all of that. I just do a quick beat on my um on my face. I'm trying to look for my primer. I don't see my primer. I mean, not my primer, my concealer. Oh, here we go. So yeah, I don't do much on my face. Yeah, so I just do a quick beat. Um, I'm watching Gina, and these are so let me pause that. Tall, leggings, I love Gina. If y'all ain't watch, if y'all not subscribed to her channel, go subscribe to her channel, Gina Janine. I love, 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 love her. Um, but yeah, so I just do a little quick beat on my face.
my eyebrows are going through the ugly phase. And you know, when it's going through the ugly phase, that was like my fear of getting these eyebrows done because I did not want to go through the ugly phase. I did not want to go through the ugly phase. But I woke up one day and I was like, I'm going to do it. I know the ugly phase is going to happen because that's part of the healing process. So I'm like, ugh. And especially today on a day that I'm, I, you know, get cute, get ready to go out. And it's like, why the ugly face today? <laughs> and I don't want to put makeup on them. I don't want to fill them in. I don't want to touch them. I might put like a concealer around them to give like it a pop or a little something. But it's definitely going through the ugly face, y'all. Like, you can see my original hairs, like... It's like, what are you doing? Like, where are you doing? And I even, look at my eyelashes, y'all. My eyelashes look terrible. And the fact that I just got these done a week ago before our trip. And this haven't even been. I think Wednesday made it a week, so I'm like a week and two days. Like, this is terrible. This is a terrible. So I got them done professionally before our trip. I usually do my eyelashes, but every once in a while I like to get my treat, get a treat and, you know, allow somebody else to do my lashes. But I won't be getting them done for a while because I'm tired of spending money on getting eyelashes and I can do it myself or put some strips on them. But yeah, so I'm almost finished with my beat. I'm looking in this mirror too because I got to look in the mirror too, but I must still continue, guys. Um, some of you guys can use black liner on the bottom. I like to do white to give it like a little pop to give my eyes a little pop. I like to do white to give my eyes a little pop, but you can use black if you chose to use black. Just a little bit. I'm not going to go all in, but just a little bit. I like that. I like that white look. But yeah, that and then for my lips, I usually... Um, this is some lip oil, so I have some lip oil, uh, just a little bit of that on there. It does have a little color to it, but, um, I don't think I'm going to use color today. Just a little lip oil just to moisturize my lips a little bit. My lips are so pretty because it has that naturally black line. Like this black glow and then this light glow to it. Uh, so I don't really like to do too much on my lips. I might do too much to my lips, but I usually wear um some lip gloss or something from B Simone collection. From B. Simone's collection. Um, but I need to re up on my collection from her. She has that red. That red is my favorite, but I don't think I'm gonna rock that today. I don't think I'm gonna rock that today. I'm probably gonna do this like nude look because of the color I'm wearing. It's just the color I'm wearing is already like a pop dress. So you can't really tell but this is like a nude just like my nails my, my nails are a nude color i just love nude i love a natural like basic color i'm not gonna wear purple green i'm not gonna do all those kind of colors like my basic colors just because it matches my skin is nude a dark nude um like a little dark burgundy that dark burgundy color not burgundy. I think that's like a dark purple or something like that. And a red. Just because it matches my skin color. So, I love those. But, this is my look. This is my look. Now, I gotta add my... Um... lashes thanks to hubby he bought me some new lashes so i get to wear those today just in time because these i'm gonna put these strips over these lashes until these originals fall off 
and then I'm going to clean my original lashes. I shampoo my original lashes and all that other stuff because just to get that gooey stuff off of it because I don't want an eye infection just because of bacteria and stuff on my eyes. So, um, looking for my tongs to pull that out. My children are always invading my stuff where I can't never find anything. Uh, uh. <laughs> my children are always such as them. <clears throat> I'm just put a lock on my door. I need to put a lock on my door and keep them out of there. But these are like some flary lashes. Wispy. I love that wispy look. Um, not too dramatic, but like a dramatic look. Make it look like if you don't wear if you gonna wear lashes, make it look like you gonna wear lashes. Make it look like you got lashes on. If you have that natural look, it's kind of like okay, what's the purpose? What's the purpose? So I like to give my eyes a little pop. I had to get my eyes a little pop. So I'll let that dry a little bit before putting it on. Then I'll speak away, dude. As long as dad has his sports, he can watch some stocks and some real estate. Okay, so my lashes are done, y'all. Y'all like this look? Y'all like this look? I like it. <laughs> it looks spicy. So I'm gonna let them. Okay, so you're not gonna. I usually let my eyelashes dry under the fan. Just because of the glue that I use. Um, so, anyway, they won't be drying today. Kids be getting in y'all stuff. Comment below if y'all kids be getting y'all stuff. Kids just be getting all in the way. All in the way. So, anyway. This is my look. I'm not going to do anything to my eyebrows. Like I said, I just gave you new hair. I just got my eyebrows microbladed. I don't want to touch them. I don't want them to get infected or anything like that by putting makeup on them. This is going through the ugly phase. They looked at the bomb at the beginning. If you have not watched that video, go watch my microblading video when I got my, my eyes, my, my eyebrows microbladed. But um, I still have to go back for eight week, eight week touch up. And then that would be the completing process of the um, microblading. So, and after that, I don't have to go back to a whole year. And that's if I decide to go back or not. Um, most people go back. Most people don't go back. So, it just depends on how they fade or if they fade or whatever the case might be. This is called a semi-permanent makeup. It's semi-permanent because it does last a year. And for some people, that it might fade away just depending on your skin, your pigments, and everything like that. Um, so, that's what she told me. Okay, I'm not a microblading specialist, okay? I'm not esthesian whatever they they do i'm not no none of them okay i don't know <laughs> hopefully i don't have to go back next year if i do make that have to make that investment every year that's crazy that's insane that's crazy so semi-permanent um it definitely defined my eyebrows a lot because y'all saw that you know i might have to come in as my hair grows back i might have to come in and um and do a little uh uh shaping them up a little bit cutting my hairs as they grow back i don't do the waxing i might do the waxing but i might not do the waxing i don't know i still because i i i edge my eyebrows up anyway anyway i always have been doing that and then i pencil in so never done the waxing on my eyebrows not sure if i will do the waxing because they are microblading and i don't know especially not right now during this process so anyway once my eyebrows heal, if my original hairs grow back, I will have to probably just shape them up myself and remove that hair. When I say shape them up, I mean remove that hair because my eyebrows are originally naturally shaped. Not originally naturally shaped, but the micro microblading shaped them. So anyway, this is my face beats. This is my look. <laughs> ah, close up, blink game strong. Like I like the wispy look. I like it a little bit, but it's the how I look in the mirror. Yeah, I know the mirror always. I mean, the camera always defines things that you don't really get to see in real life. Ugh. <laughs> but anyway, I'll be back. It's time to get dressed. So guys, this is the look. 
This is the look of this dress. And I'm going to wear these shoes for, you guys have saw these before. I'm gonna wear those shoes with it, but you know how we do. We're gonna put them on in the car, okay? We're gonna put them on when we get there. So, yes, this is the look. This is my dress from um, Tabitha's collection. Tabitha Brown, if you guys do not know her, go look her up on Instagram. I am Tabitha Brown. She is like a vegan, um, a vegan a celebrity. I don't know, but um, I just discovered her not too long ago. My friends absolutely love her and adore her. And um, I like her. She's cool. She's cool. She's nobody to boast over, but she's cool. So um, just to support, y'all know I love supporting um, small businesses or businesses period so I just bought her I bought a dress I bought a couple items from her collection I love the colors I'm not a big color girl but I feel like you know pop out in some color once in a while it's cute Tabitha Brown thank you girl thank you girl got like little pockets on the side it's long comes all the way down to my knees and yeah and I'm gonna wear my white shoes with them my white heels so it is 11 o'clock and I'm supposed to be there at 11 20. I thought I said 11. I know I said 11 45, but I re looked at that text. I was like, oh, shoot. Okay, I got to go. So, anyway, let's go. But before we go, my fragrance of the day is um, Miss Dior. Focus, focus, focus. So, you're not going to focus. Okay, there you go. Miss Dior. So, just spray a couple of that. Spray it down. Whoop. Oh shoot! I didn't broke the little thing off of it. Ah! Everything just pops off all the time. Why am I keep dropping stuff, y'all? I'm so clumsy. I'm I'm not clumsy. It's just I don't know. I'm not gonna speed that over my life. I'm not clumsy. But yes, y'all like this look. I love it. I love it. Curly Sue is back and giving what it's supposed to give. Now, let's get out of here. Woo, it's hot, y'all. It is hot. So the place we're eating at is called First Watch. I never ate there before. Oh, I got hair on my lip. Come on now, hair. Ah. Ew, I feel it. Okay, here we go. What is wrong with my, okay. What is wrong with my, um,
So y'all, I have got, what did I get? The Belgian waffle and the eggs because, I mean, no, the fridge. I don't know. I don't know. I've never been here, so I, I don't know. I didn't know what to get, but it's like a breakfast place it's called Birth Watch. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you. The blogger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feel good so in I'm here hot. after beating that heat, y'all. But 
So y'all, I am relaxed. My hair is tied up. It is so hot outside. It is so hot outside. I don't even want to take this makeup off. I kind of want to do like a photo shoot. I kind of want to have a photo shoot. I don't want to waste this makeup. But I'm hot. I don't know. I'm give myself an hour to cool down first. Because it is so hot outside. But the food have been great. Um, that was my first time eating there. I would eat there again. I think it's a health. I need to do more research on it because I wonder why it's called First Watch. Like I was thinking if it was like a Weight Watcher. So I would eat there again. I kind of do want to more want to do more research on um, the place. So I wonder why it's called First Watch. I'm wondering if it's like a Weight Watchers program or something. Um, I don't know, but I know they did have a lot of healthy stuff on the menu. Um, I had got the Belgian waffle and grits and cheese, just something simple. Um, I would need more time there. It was super, super crowded. So, and plus, I was with my girls, so I, my girls, so I couldn't like really focus on the menu like I really wanted to. But I would definitely go back there and eat because my Belgian waffle was so good. Cinnamon Belgian waffle, cinnamon sugar Belgian waffle, was so good. Um, and then I had grits and cheese, so that was good. And very very cheesy I love it because sometimes I be going to IHOP and I be getting my grits and cheese and they be having the cheese the shredded cheese on top and it don't even be melted Ugh. so anyway I hate that so um my cheese was nice and melted I so show, I showed y'all anyway but I would eat there again I had a good time you always got to make time for your friends and just you know because that's a, I think everything is a relationship you got your husband relationship, you got your friends in relationship your kid building kid building i mean growing i mean with your kids having kids is a relationship so but i think it all plays a part in our needs and what we need in our life is having like friendship relationships you know situationships whatever you in. <laughs> um so important so it was good to chat up with the girls kick it and see what see you know keep up with what we got going on in our lives and everything so that was very very nice um so yeah, we're gonna do that once a month. We do that once a month. Um, but yeah, I don't know what we got planned, what we got going on today. I don't know what else we're gonna do today. But my makeup look good. My makeup look good. I don't want to take it off. I don't want to really, cause I look good in it. But I know we gotta fold these clothes. We gotta put up these clothes. So I think we're gonna put up the clothes. I know we went to Home Depot last night to, um, I'm still trying to, I know I have a vlog with like me doing my laundry room. So that kind of didn't work out. I, I did it, we did it, we set it up. It was great, it was complete. I have a vlog about that if you wanna go all the way down and look at it, me, re me revamping my laundry room. So we have a laundry project to do because I want to change it again because those shelves did not work out. I have too much heavy stuff on top of those shelves and those shelves did not work out. So I have um, a big, huge shelf, which I'm going to consider it a floating shelf that we're going to put on our wall. So the hubby and I went out to Home Depot last night and he got some like little screws or like shelving things that we need to hang up the, um, to hang up the floating shelf. So we're gonna attempt to do that project i'm not a handy woman he's not a handy man and we don't specialize in handy things so we're going to attempt to put it up because that last project we did baby no so we're gonna see how this goes we're gonna see how this goes hopefully it work out because you know we just trying to still we've been here for like in this house for like what almost a year I think 10, 10 months now, so almost a year, and we're just still trying to complete it and make it a home. We're like 90% there. Um, we're 90% there. I do think that we do need more storage in this house. We don't have a lot of storage, so we're just, we're just, we're getting there. We're getting there, and it takes time. And it takes time. Don't rush everything. Once you get your house, don't rush trying to get everything. I mean, I did, but. <laughs> Don't be like me because it's a headache. Decorating is supposed to be, decorating is supposed to be like fun or whatever, but it's really a headache because you want to try to find ma matching, matching things to go with this and that and everything. And sometimes 
you got to go to like three or four stores just to find something to go with this you know what i'm saying plus the rug that i had in my living room i got rid of that because it was so shaggy and it got matted matted and you have every time you vacuum it gets back shaggy like it's supposed to shaggy rug so it's supposed to be shaggy but every time you walk on it it gets flat and i didn't mat it and i didn't like that look and stuff so every time i vacuum it'll get back shaggy like beggar back to his regular state so i got rid of that now i gotta find another rug to go in my living room <sighs> so it's a lot now i want another and i want another living room set it's like i'm just never satisfied no I'm, no i'm always satisfied but i just love like i love change change is always good for the better change is always good for the better and that's what it is i'm i am very very satisfied i'm i'm grateful and i'm thankful for what i can supply and can get i'm like i'm thankful that you know the supplies that i can get um so i'm just very thankful on that end but i just love change like i've been like i'm that type of girl that like as i was growing up um in my teenage years like when i was living back at home and didn't have major bills what i have now i would always change my room around like how many times a month like i would change my room around three to four times a month i would change my room around and even like becoming in young adult and you know we got our first place and everything i would change our living room i would change the bedroom around i would still change my bedroom around i would change the living room around until i ran out of ideas on where i could put this couch where i could put that so from be young kids. So you know, I just love, I just love different things. I love change. I always like change for the better, not change for the worse. Um, so just be mindful of that. Like I always love to just grow. You know what I'm saying? So, um, as you can see, I switched the content up a little bit on my YouTube channel. So it's just, I just love change. So um, that's enough about that. But anyway, we're gonna get ready to get ready. To, I'm not sure if I'm going to include it in this vlog or if that's going to be another vlog. I think that's more of a home decorating vlog, so I might do that. I might do. We're going to get. We probably going to do that today. I don't think I have anything else to do today. Do we have anything else to do today? We've been we've been ripping and running for like since all year. We've been ripping and running. So like this weekend or today, and just to be able to relax in the house and just catch up on some shows do some laundry clean laundry my body is clean took a shower so i'm on my clean laundry and that's okay um but like just catching up on like shows and just sitting back and relax dinner probably gonna cook dinner we're probably gonna do another cooking video cooking show the couple's cooking show or you want a mommy and me cooking show y'all want a mommy and me cooking show or do y'all like the couples and cooking show y'all let me know we're probably gonna give out another couple cooking show. We're gonna find out what we're gonna cook tonight. And, um, but yeah, so we're probably gonna cook dinner and probably just kick back and relax. We do the shelf in tomorrow because it's so hot outside. And this is like the only opportunity. Like, we have an event next weekend. So, like, this weekend is like the only weekend that we got a chance to relax because we've been so busy all year. We're like into the middle of the year. It's always, always a busy month for us, busy months for us. So it starts to die down like towards the end of the summer because, you know, from, like I said, birthdays, graduation, spring break, um, anniversary, and then we got summer vacation that I just did and we just did. So it's like, it starts to die down then because then we get ready for the upcoming school year. Our children are going to public, get ready to go back into public school and we got to do school shopping and <sighs> so I'm just grateful for, you know, the abundance that God put in our lives and everything. But we are busy. We are busy, 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 busy. And we're running businesses and we're working and paying bills while also trying to stay afloat and enjoy the things in life, you know. So we're all about working and having fun and enjoying, the, enjoying you know, the small wins in life. Um, as well as we want to enjoy big wins and plus we just moved this year no we moved last year but um so still trying to get settled into our home and everything like that so that's um what pretty much we got going on and what we pretty much do so i know i'm talking a lot i don't want to make this video too long um yeah so i probably gonna end this video here um if not i'll come back <laughs> i'm saying it because my husband in the background talking junk 
but anyway so yeah so you know in order to become a girl boss you know what to do hit that subscribe button hit that like button comment below interact with your girl let me know what y'all got going on i just told y'all what i got going on and what we up to and what we about to do and get into and everything like that and yeah so i love y'all thank you for rocking with your girl thank you for getting the subscribers up i'm thankful 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 and grateful for y'all we going up baby i got more i got so much stuff planned for this channel i appreciate y'all because y'all can be watching somebody else y'all could be watching somebody else out of a thousand people over a thousand people over millions of people on youtube and y'all stay here and chose to watch my vlog thank y'all so much for rocking with your girl y'all yeah, so i'm out here with a star phone I'd rather be out here with a scarf on than a bonnet. So don't judge me, judge your mama. Hey! She gonna make herself in this camera. She gonna find her way in this camera. <sighs> Healthy today, so you can give me lemonade. <laughs> okay. How else can I help you out today? Um, that's it. All right, I got one drink. That's all. Six twelve. See you down here. Thank you. Passion fruit pineapple. Okay. Thank you. You too. He would be staring at me like I'm a celebrity or something. Like, girl. So we're going to see if we see a Starbucks. Guess what? We're going to have us a Starbucks. Where is my light? Focus. 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 Where is my light? What is going on? So when we see a Starbucks, baby, guess what? We're gonna get us a Starbucks, okay? So this is the um, pineapple passion fruit, and I got it with lemonade. I usually do water, but when I'm so hungry and want something really sweet, like a sweet treat, I just do lemonade. So this is with lemonade. I take a picture of the pineapple passion fruit. Starbucks is so good. Mm. 